Wendy Elaine Wright Smith, talent manager in Los Angeles, California at WAW Entertainment, where we represent about 30 actors for film, television, webisodes, commercials, theater, and um, print work. So here's some questions, and this is directed today towards the new actor that's moving to Los Angeles. Here are some tips for how you can move to LA. Um, if I'm here, and they're gonna, I'm going to answer some of the questions that were sent to me. If I'm moving to LA for the first time to pursue an acting career, are there recommended areas in which to live where I'll be close to auditions and classes? That's a great question. I suggest you live in Burbank, North Hollywood, Valley Village, or Studio City. Those are really great areas. Some people like to live downtown in the lofts. Um, that's fun too, and that's a really new, upcoming, uh, up and coming, trendy neighborhood where there's lots of new restaurants and people are living down there and walking their dogs. Downtown used to be a place you didn't want to live in, downtown LA. But it's really getting kind of interesting, so go check out some of the lofts. Maybe you could team up with a couple other actors and rent a space together and therefore save yourself some money. But um, in the valley, that's where we call it, in the valley. It's cleaner. It's um, it's a little more upscale. I mean, it's just nicer. When I lived in California, when I first moved here, I moved right to Hollywood Boulevard, and I lived in Hollywood, and that was great too. Um, Hollywood between um, Hollywood Boulevard or by Franklin, or there's some good places in Hollywood too. But Hollywood is called Holly Weird out here because there's some weird people who be living in Hollywood too. Let me tell you. So you may you may be better off. I mean, I moved from Hollywood over into the valley and went, phew. Um, it was exciting at first because I was so close to Hollywood Boulevard and all the stars on the streets and all that excitement of Hollywood and all that. But Beverly Hills is very expensive. Don't even try it. Santa Monica is very expensive. It's way out there over by the ocean, and you'd have to drive all the way from Santa Monica to get back into Burbank. So I just say go to Burbank, North Hollywood, Valley Village, maybe Toluca Lake, Studio City, you will find nice, comfortable, affordable housing there. Okay? Uh, do I need a car? Absolutely, you need a car. LA is spread all out, and you really do need a car to get to auditions. You might have one in Burbank, and then one in Santa Monica, and then one in Hollywood, and then one in... Oh my God, you'll be driving all over the place. And you and your acting classes are in North Hollywood and your auditions down in Marina Del Rey. It's crazy. You've got to have a car. You won't get much done without one. And it's just not going to work. What things can I do to prepare before the big move? Save, save, save money. Save as much money as you can. Take some, you know, while you're living at home and your parents are paying for everything, take some acting classes. Um, get a get some headshots done back there. Some really nice, you know. Find a find a, a friend who you know is a photographer who does professional headshots, and just get some pictures taken so that when you get out here, you'll have at least something to show people. When you you'll have something to put up on LA Casting and Actors Access just to get started. Um, do as do theater as much as you can. Take some acting classes. That's what you can do before. You get here. What should I expect to pay per month for accommodation? Well, if you're in an apartment by yourself, it's usually like a thousand to eleven hundred dollars a month. So you want to probably share with another actor, so that cuts your expense in half. Um, if you share with three actors, you can split it three ways. So that I would always suggest that, especially when you're so young. You know, you don't have a husband or children, and you can just kind of like three girls in a room, and you have no problem. What should I expect to accomplish in the first month? After six months, after a year? Those are good questions. Someone's thinking. I like that planning and thinking. In the first month, I mean, just come get, get a, you know, uh, what's the word familiar with the area? Drive around, try to figure out where you are. Um, get a map and figure out where the studios are because you're probably going to do some extra work when you get here and you should know how to get to the studios. If you have GPS, that's going to help you in the car. Um, accomplish in the first month, just kind of feel the lay of the land. Um, get into an acting class. You could start to meet actors. After, you know, during the first six months, I suggest that you, um, you start looking in Backstage West for, 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 uh, well, yeah. Start looking in Backstage West so you could start reading articles about the industry and start looking at casting notices and, 
and get yourself onto Actors Access and LA Casting so you can take a look at some of the auditions that are out there and maybe audition for certain things that you're right for, for student films and, and low budget films and shorts. You know, they're not expecting people with a ton of experience. They don't pay probably anything, but it gives you experience. And they know that, that you're not going to be a Meryl Streep or Robert De Niro, even though you might be. They're not able to pay that kind of actor, so they have a lot of the lower level beginning actors in their stuff, and that's a great opportunity for you to get started. So in the first six months, I would just be on Actors Access and LA Casting every day, submitting for stuff and taking acting classes and finding a job. Finding a job that you can work that will give you the freedom and the leeway um, to take off to go to acting classes or take off to go to auditions and... And um, I have some flexibility. So that's that's just all you're doing the first six months. Um, after a year, after a year, you should have added your commercial classes, your on-camera audition classes, and your improv classes to your regular acting class. And you should really just be heavily auditioning for every student film and short film you can so that you could start building your credits up to 10, 15, 20 of those films and webisodes. Okay, that's it for now. That's your first year. Uh, come on out here. If you're talented and you have a dream and a goal and a drive, follow it. Follow your heart. Follow your happiness. Follow what makes you happy. And if you have any questions, you can always email me at wawentertainment at yahoo.com. And you can follow me at Twitter, WAW underscore Wendy, or Facebook, WAW Entertainment. And as always, I'm extremely happy to help newcomers. Um, if you send me a resume without anything on it, I'm not likely going to ever take you on at that early stage. And I don't think many managers will. So get yourself some student films and some webisodes and some short films under your belt before you even reach out to managers or agents. Especially before you reach out to agents, you won't be ready. But managers, maybe. After a couple of months of getting a little bit of work under your belt, you might be starting to look for a manager. Alrighty, talk to you later.